Can anyone with diabetes eat papaya? This is a question that I receive very often and in this week's video we will evaluate the nutritional table and tell you whether or not those diagnosed with diabetes can consume this type of product. So enjoy, watch until the end, because I'm sure you'll leave here learning more and more. And in this week's episode of Who Has Diabetes, we're going to evaluate the papaya that our little friend here has where we will evaluate a quantity and talk about whether you can consume it or not. Initially you need to understand some points here. This papaya here we have its total weight with the seed and the peel of 8600 grams of the total product. Excluding the seeds and skins, we will have around 650 grams remembering that a tip for those who have constipation problems and that you cannot go to the bathroom more often, eating papaya seeds is very welcome for those who mainly suffer from constipation. So put this tip into practice. For those of you who have a bowel movement, okay. Another important point is that we are going to evaluate 100 grams of the product. So it is very important that you use a digital scale in your home. This scale, which costs around 30 Brazilian reals, is an excellent ally for those with diabetes. So if you don't have this scale at home, find a way to buy it. I'll leave the link here in the description so you can find out the model and buy it to have in your home. So, by evaluating 100 grams of papaya, we can verify some important points. So, in 100 grams of papaya, the nutritional table is already here. We will have calories and an okay amount of calories. Also an okay volume of food, so keep this information. Regarding the presence of carbohydrates in 100 grams, we will have 11.58 grams of carbohydrate. A very interesting amount for a beneficial product, such as papaya. Regarding the presence of proteins, 0.44 grams and fats, 0.14 grams of fat. So we can verify that it is basically carbohydrates and water. So, answering the question about the consumption of papaya by those with diabetes. Diabetics can consume papaya without any major problems but avoiding excesses. You don't need to eat a dense amount of papaya during breakfast, for example. You can take, peel and eat the seeds, especially if you have constipation, constipation and share in portions of 100 grams of papaya. Then you use your digital scale to weigh the papaya and consume 100 grams of papaya per day. So you take the papaya like this, you will make 5 servings of 100 grams, more or less 120 grams and consume 100 grams of papaya per day. It won't cause your blood sugar to rise, but it's up to you to consume 100 grams of papaya over 6 days. This papaya will even spoil. So, in this case, you can even consume 150 grams of papaya so as not to waste your papaya so that it does not spoil, but avoid consuming excess. If you consume, for example, 300 grams of papaya, you will already be included. There are almost 40 grams of carbohydrates, which is a higher amount of carbohydrates, and will cause an increase in your blood sugar. So, the golden tip for consuming papaya and avoid excess, consume around 100, 150 grams for breakfast in the afternoon snack. And then you can eat papaya every day without any major problems. The big challenge is to avoid consuming too much and avoid adding another source of carbohydrates. So don't consume your papaya with honey, molasses or sugar, as this will cause an increase in your blood sugar. So it is important that you have this awareness to consume fruit intelligently, with quality, without causing an increase in health. Blood glucose okay? And that was the episode of Who Has Diabetes this week. 
If you want to have a product, a food, evaluated by me, be sure to comment below so that you can know which food to consume or not, and thus start to put it in an intelligent way, in a way that will bring benefits to you. Your health. 6. To gain your diagnosis of diabetes without causing it, it increases your blood sugar, your glucose levels and so on. So comment below about which food supplement you want me to evaluate so I can create a video and go into more detail about it, okay? If you've been watching so far, it's a sign that you like the content, and if you like the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave your thumbs up which is the main thing. Neo de de Adivar as notificacos, pois toda semana nos timos novos contudos a respito de diabetes a respito de alimentaco de suplemento, en teo e importante que vos ative as notificacos e tambum compartil os videos do canal e do diabetes, pois dessa forma vos ajuda no crescimento do canal. E logo logo nos podemos bater 100.000. Queridos e queridos inscritos aqui no canal do diabetes e o YouTube passa cada vez mais divulgar o nosso contudo. E esse canal pod continuar sempre crescendo e evoluindo, ok? Aqui e o leido e o vidaixer mais o super contudo para você continuar maritinando aos videos do canal e continuar evoluindo o seu conhecimento. Asu o seu aprendizado e evoluir cada vez mais o seu tratamento de uma maneira inteligente e eficaz e com cada vez mais sod. Ok. Enteo no sair mos ficar por aqui. Ficam todos com 18 meses.